It's the kind of beat to go. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joey, and today we are here with World Domination Beginners Let's Play episode number 12. Now today we're going to be checking out Istanbul, and of course we are on the Survivors Faction. Now before we do get started with this episode, I just want to apologize for my absence. It has been a whopping 9 days since my last video, and it's actually been really depressing because I've missed uploading. It's just been, I don't know, I just miss it. It just seems kind of weird not uploading in a while, but we're back. I'm ready to start getting back on that grind. Hopefully I can get videos out daily. If not every other day, we'll see. I'm going to try to get as many videos as I can. I'm ready to just get back in the grind here, guys. I missed uploading you guys, but we're back. So let's go ahead and get to it. Istanbul. It's a pretty exciting city. Nothing too crazy. It's not impossible to beat. Right now I'm on day nine. I got a really good feel for it by playing the first couple of days. And let me go ahead and give you guys this first tip. This is probably one of the most... I love giving you guys at least one very specific tip to kind of roll with for each city. And for this city, I think the most important thing is snipers. Very simply, snipers. Now, you're going to want to at least have one sniper with you, whether it be a sharpshooter, which I personally would recommend, a dead shot, just a normal sniper, which I'm bringing along. Now, I really stress bringing a sniper because you really want to have that sniper to take out the Titans. Titans are going to be your main Achilles heel on this map. And as you'll see very shortly, these Titans can easily just kind of, what the word is, maybe clog up the the freeway <laughs> the intersections and things like that and can really kind of just give those drones the opportunity to overwhelm your survivors and pretty much just kind of take out an entire pad so i would definitely rec recommend bringing at least one that's what i'm gonna do but if you can bring two that's just even better like as you can see i can borrow a second that's perfect but i would recommend bringing one for sure and two two is always better than one so let's go ahead and get the first quick fight in here we're not a quick fight but we're gonna get a fight in an attack and we're gonna go over kind of what to do what to look for what kind of setups I like using so here we are we have three spawning pads here and for the zombies geez Louise bleh. okay so we have two objectives here to defend we got stimzy and then just a little objective point over there so for the first wave what I'm really I've been really liking this certain specific setup I like to have at least one sniper I'm gonna put a machine gunner and then I'm gonna pair that my favorite combo here my combat medic along with my lumberjack now this has been very successful for me i love it to death this is one of my favorite little combos the combat medic and the lumberjack and then i'm putting the machine gun and the sniper in the back now i'm doing that very specifically because the sniper is going to take out all the titans from long range the machine gun is going to help wipe out all those drones and then the lumberjacks up there just kind of be a heavy unit up front taking damage taking out drones so likewise we're going to do a very similar setup for the other areas here now over here i'm going to go ahead and send these guys back put a sniper in there we're going to actually put in two gunners and then i'm going to reinforce that pad as needed and then for the first pad over here we're going to throw down captain zeta aka destructor so let's go ahead and start the waves here first wave just gonna be a little titan wave with some drones and some titans so as you can see drones coming out of the wave here and nothing too crazy that lumberjack's going to step up here and just quickly start common taking out these guys one by one the combat medic's going to keep him alive as you can see snipers taking out that titan very easily which is giving my lumberjack a whole lot of room to just take out all these drones along with the machine gunner which is providing a ton of support titan right there goes down the sniper's just keeping those titans at bay making life a whole lot easier for me <clears throat> and for you as a player when you guys get to this now we are on to destructor here i'm gonna go ahead and throw down a combat medic back here and we're gonna throw in a lumberjack as well now we're gonna use a lot of heavy units on this end here now this is gonna keep our big guys alive here with the combat medic it's gonna make life a whole lot easier I'm going to throw down another scatter shot over here, and then I'm going to throw down a sniper right down here, and then we're going to throw down a trooper. Now, this is going to give us a well-fortified area. Another sniper I can throw down right over here. It's going to help keep that wave certainly locked down. I've got a combat medic in here in the middle with the destructor, which is going to keep everyone very healed up, and that's going to allow for some serious just easiness. Now, as you can see now, with two snipers, it allows us to get snipers on almost every single pad, every single vantage point. That's a lot. It's going to really allow us to keep every single Titan that's on the board down. He's not going to have a chance. And that's going to allow our lumberjacks, our gunfighters, our just basic gunners and things like that. They're going to be able to do what they need to do best. Take out these drones, these low health mutated zombies. And we're going to get an easy win there. 375 trophies. That is the perfect amount. And guys, that's going to give you the W. So very simple little strategy there. It makes life a little bit easier for you. It's going to make it, you know... It's going to be a little bit of more a piece of cake, you could say, a cakewalk, what have you. So we got a little of a, we got, looks like we got an uncommon unit here and some cans. Nothing, can, can, I can't complain anything without there. Yeah, I can't complain with anything I just got there. Let's go ahead and continue here. And we're going to go ahead and move on to the next attack here. So this one, I'm not going to commentate as much, but hey, 
we're just going to get into the down and dirty. So we're going to get some coins here. Love that. Now, I feel like the um, unit you always get at the end of a city is actually very fitting for what you need to use. So as you can see, we're going to be getting a spec ops here. And that's very fitting, I think. It's going to be very helpful. And it's just what you need to bring along, basically. Now, I do like my sharpshooters. But hey, can't complain. Go wrong with a... Can go wrong with the spec ops now i do like the outlaw because outlaws are also very good against tanky heavy units because they have a very high damage output with their little revolver you could say and they just go to work they do some very good work i love my desperado death on my main account so i mean an outlaws that it's not very far off from what you can get on the lower level end so let's go ahead and throw down my I'm going to throw down a very similar um, kind of layout here. So I'm going to throw my sniper back here because it's a better vantage point. But I'm going to throw down my machine gunner over here. I'm going to throw down my lumberjack along with my combat medic. And we're just going to kind of let these guys chill out over there. I'm going to see how that does. They've got a whole light. They have got a really great straightaway there to help defend. Take out all those drones, spitters, what have you. And that Titan's just not going to get a chance with that sniper chill in the back. Now, over here, we have a little bit of a different sort of story. I can throw down my outlaw along with several gunners. And I'm actually going to have to throw down, you know, I'm going to throw down a destructor over here. Now, I like this little pad over here. It's a lot of gunners. They're going to keep all those drones at bay. And when the Titans get, when the drones get thinned out enough and we get a Titan coming up, that outlaw is going to be able to cause a ton of damage towards that Titan. You'll see that shortly. Let's go ahead and send this first wave out. We got a couple drones coming towards us, and we're going to start wiping out those drones very soon. Machine Gunner is kind of uh, getting his gun ready, warming up here. And here we go. Lumberjack's off. First Titan drop, second one's about to get dropped right there, and he is down. So, Snipers, easily picking him off makes my life a whole lot easier, guys. Keeps things easy. Now, we only have Destructor over here, but we're, I'm going to speed this up just really quick because we're going to be able to get some Gunners very soon. I'm going to start throwing down my Gunners and another Combat Medic to help keep Destructor alive. I'm going to stim them up really quick to give them a little bit of boost, kind of keep all those guys down. And once I get another Sniper, I'm quickly going to throw that, that, that one down over there because that's going to be very helpful. Now, I threw another Outlaw over there because I'm not going to really put any of my Snipers over there because... Just frankly, quite frankly, you don't have the room. I'm going to actually put down my... I'm going to actually ha hope I can hold down the fort long enough. And I'm going to try to throw down a machine gunner on that end to kind of see how that works out for me. Now, I'm going to stem these guys up because they're going to need a little extra juice. Now, as you can see, these guys are taking out these titans quickly. Now, if we can kind of get a good view of it very soon here. Got a machine gun I can throw down here. And we actually got the win. But as you can see, that outlaw handled the titans with ease. If you guys don't, if you guys want to bring in some type of gunner like the outlaw, it's a perfect substitution for, um, like say a, a second sniper. If you don't want to bring in a second sniper, you can easily substitute. The, say you wanted to sub out my scatter shot for an outlaw. That's a perfect substitution. That will work perfectly. That will get you where you want to go, guys. It's going to be easy. So let's go ahead and continue here and get on to. Let's get one more attack in, and then we'll kind of come back when we are at the finale here. We only have three more attacks left till we get to the finale. Date 11 we are on. Let's go ahead and fight. Fight. <laughs> it's not Byzantine. It's Istanbul. All right, here we go. So, actually, I think this is the exact same map. All right, so we're just going to do the exact same setup. Actually, you know, we're. I just want to see if it... This is going to give us like a good damage control type sort of example. We'll be able to get a good feel for how this... like. Get a good feel for how this strategy actually works. If we can just kind of do it twice, if we can whip out a win twice in a row. I will be very happy. However, we're going to have to switch up the strategy a little bit because we don't have the outlaw this time. So let me go ahead and send this wave here. If I can send it, we're going to speed this up. We're going to do a speed round here. Now, this pad is going to be very locked down. I love this setup because that sniper in the back is going to wipe out all of those Titans for me. And it's just going to make life very easy. Let me go and throw down another melee unit, get the combat medic down, keep everybody alive and throw down two gunner support units so that pad should be very very well defended stem them back it's not stem flare them back and that'll keep us locked down set over there i'm gonna throw down a sniper over here along with another firefighter and hopefully we can get that sniper to go back here for me come on bud and i think my sniper just went down no he's still alive all right perfect i'm gonna go and stem these guys up really quick give them a little bit more extra firepower so we can take out those guys let me go ahead and start fortifying this other objective just in case. I think we're fine. I think we just got the win here. If I can just throw down this Molotov, Molotov cocktail. We got 368 trophies. We pulled out a win. So no worries there. We got a win. So let's go ahead and continue here. And then we will move on to the next attack. So we got 10 coins there. Perfectly happy with that result. Istanbul here. Looks like our guys are going to be kind of out of it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and waste a buttload of coins just so I can kind of skip these this last, this little next 
uh, attack here because I don't want to have to spend a lot of time. And actually, you know what? Let's just go ahead and recharge them all and get another attack in. We're just going to go ahead and go for it. So this video may end up being about like 13 minutes, but hey, it's all good. I actually may cut this out. So if I do come out, I'm going to be right back. If not, we're going to keep going. <clears throat> all right. So what do we got here? You know, I'm going to try something very, very different. I'm going to actually do this. I'm going to put everybody here and we're just going to dump every single unit I can possibly dump right in the middle here just because I'm lazy. I want to see if I can win like this. Start the waves. We're off. Send it. I want to see if I can defend this just because I'm lazy and I don't feel like strategizing on this last attack here. I just want to see how my team does if I just kind of squash them all up. Okay, that's I don't want to send too many units at once. That's just dangerous. All right, stem them up here. Get them a little bit extra quicker here. So far, so good. I'm going to save up some space real quick. Okay, I can throw down some more gunners here. I'm down for that. Get another lumberjack in there. Get another sniper in there. And I'm going to go ahead and wait it out here until I can get my second machine gunner. Let's get a little bit closer, guys. Get in there. Be happy. Take out those spitters for me because that's going to be our main Achilles heel. First Titan's about to go down here. It looks like it's getting a little congested here, which I'm not loving. But we can go and stim them up. Give Use the Molotov cocktail here in the back. Stim them up, please. There we go. And I'm about to get to be able to throw another sniper in there, which we may not even need. Down goes couple last couple of drones. That was a very quick attack. I love it. Now, guys, I wouldn't recommend that on in most of you guys' situation. But you know what? I just went for it. My guys are a little bit higher than the recommended team power. I'm getting about 1,200, 1,100 team power. So I should be able to handle that fairly well just as I did. So Istanbul here. Here we are on the finale. We're going to be able to get a Spec Ops here. So just wait it out just one second here. Spec Ops is on the way. Wait for it. And fight. So we are off to the races here, guys. Nick RR. I'm going to definitely borrow that. From, actually, I'm going to go with the Outlaw. Just because from Mahitya, it's just going to Mahitya. I don't even know how you pronounce that. Excuse me. Yeah, I know who you are, though. I know who you are. I just can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember how to say your name. All right. So here's the finale, guys. This is actually very similar to our last attack, but we're going to do it a little bit differently. So I'm going to actually be able to do I'm actually going to do this. OK, OK, let me see how I'm going to do this. <laughs> Ugh, I said I knew, but I didn't. So I'm going to go ahead and throw my sniper, my machine gunner and my combo over here. That's going to keep that pad very set. Now I'm going to do something a little bit different over here. I'm going to throw down the remainder of my units. And they're going to focus way, way, way up on this pad. Now, this is a bit of a crowding strategy here, but it should work fairly well. So they're going to drop right off the bat here. we got a whole lot of gunners, a lot of high-powered units. The outlaw is going to keep them at bay. Now, they I like calling this, I don't know if it's the crowding. I had a good word for it, but it's just sort of like you keep them close. You keep them, you keep them like from getting off that pad no matter what. Like They're not going to get a chance to get off the pad and get a shot off, which I love doing that because it keeps everything easy. And it's pretty much just an overpowered sort of strategy where you keep them off the pad. You just, they can't, they don't get the chance to bulk up, bunch up and overwhelm your pad because you just, they can't even get past the spawning pad. So we're doing a very simple strategy over here. However, it's not doing 100% good. So I'm actually going to go ahead and start fortifying this pad back here just in case I do end up getting past. But let me go ahead and throw down that Molotov cocktail. Actually, that worked perfectly. There we go. So we got 345 on the last finale stage there and we got a win so not too shabby there we're gonna get a spec ops here with the win here let me go ahead and see what my rewards are we got a rare unit there we got a contractor i love it so we completed it and there is our reward of these spec ops that's awesome i'm definitely gonna start working him in, working him into my team i'll do that later and that's awesome guys so that is istanbul so we're gonna keep on pushing through the beginners let's play is i hope this was helpful for you guys if you're stuck on istanbul thank you so much for watching guys as always and I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.